So you guys seen it. Dark Lot Turbo, man. Like, the Pendulums are insane. You can literally throw in any deck in there, and you, you spit out negates with cool combos in it. Dark Lot, Nappies. You can do anything you want. So I'm not going to show you guys how any random... Two, I'm going to do two random hands in a row. I can do ten random hands in a row, and they're going to end in four negates with a Dark Lot. I can do 30 in a row, and they're going to end on that. And hand traps don't even affect it, because what are you going to ask? Uh, E-call? No problem. Like, it does nothing. Like, hand traps literally do nothing. Draw hurts a little bit, but when uh, you play your hand as if you expect a draw coming. So you expect a draw coming, and you play around it. After they don't draw you in the first search, you literally win. You literally put up four negates with the Dark Claw, and it's absolutely insane. So I'm going to show you guys now, just average hand, cutting, shuffling. Go check out the deck because you haven't already. Just to show you guys how it's possible. Uh, we're going to cut right there. Mr. Caraman Xavier there. Shout out to him. ABC God right there. Better than Calvin Tahan with ABCs. As am I. ABC Pendulum's coming soon. So first card, we draw Dragon Pit. Not a good card to draw. Dragon Shrine, good card. We drew a brick, we drew Master Age, but we're still gonna resolve the combo. Foolish, Allure. So with this hand, you got four negates easily. The issue is it's a hero deck. We didn't draw one of our eight ways to get it. Luckily, we do have Allure, so we're gonna do this little by little. We drew one of each of these. This is literally two bricks. You see, like, this is not a good hand. This is, not, this is actually a horrible hand. And I'm still gonna put up four negates, easily. And you still have, like, look, like, these two are dead, because you only want one of these cards, right? You want one of these cards from the Dark World. These two are completely dead. Shrine. At this point, they're ashing the Shrine. So this, like, no one does not ash Shrine against Pendulums. What else are you going to ash? So at that point, you're going to have the whole board through an ash, because you have another Foolish on top of that. But, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to keep going and show you guys how easy this actually is. So we're going to Dragon Shrine, Dark Worm. Get a Gate Zero, and after that, we're going to Allure. And if we draw a hero, we draw a hero. If we don't draw a hero, I'm going to show you guys another cool way, a cool interaction with this deck. We're going to search that, worm, get zero. And next we're going to Allure. There's a reason why you play Allure. Your whole deck is dark. You literally even added more dark cards by adding hero cards in here. So anything you draw is going to be good to banish. So we're going to see what we draw. Would someone like to uh, cut, please? We got some, uh, we got some uh, live audience here. Live audience. So now we're going to activate Allure. We draw Abductor, we draw E-Call. We banish the zero. The hand's looking a little better now. Next up, we're going to go Abductor, and we're going to go E-Call. Uh, one second, we've got to think this through here. So one spell, two spell, one spell, two spell, three spell. So we're going to Abductor, we're going to activate E-Call. There's a situation, you, there's a thing you can do here that's really cool. If we didn't draw into a hero, so we drew into a hero. If we didn't draw it, we could have pushed Burial Shadow Mist, get Stratos, normal Stratos, and then get another Shadow Mist, giving you a free rank 4. So Foolish gives you a free rank 4, because it gives you two monsters. It's a cool interaction you could do, but now there's no reason to do it. So instead, we're going to e-call into our boy Stratos. I don't see any pendulums. Sorry? Sorry? I don't see any pendulums. Abductor and Dragon Pit. That's all you need, baby. That's all you need. All right, next, we're going to get Stratos with E-Call. So, one counter here. We're now going to activate Foolish Burial to bring this Strudel into the graveyard. I'm leaving two counters for Abductor. We drew Mass Change, bro. That's horrible. Like, you know what we might even do? Instead of that, we're going to fool it. Instead of that, here's what we're going to do. We're going to fool it. We hard drew this. So, we're going to get a Foolish. We're, okay, we're going to E-Call Shadow Mist. We're going to search Shadow Mist. We're going to Foolish, another Shadow Mist. Forget this Strudel. Just get three level fours in hand. To get a Stratos in hand. You already have the mass change. This even gives you... If you didn't draw this, you simply just search for this. But see how there's so many cool interactions in this deck? We can do so many different options here. Uh, we have two spells on... Two counters on Abductor. Activate Dragon Pit, giving it three counters. Now we're going to search for any Pendulum we want. At this point, we're just going to switch anything to normal summon, just to make us our first Electro. There's lots of things we could do here. You want something in your extra deck. The idea of what we could do is lots of options here. We could pop, add. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to... No, not harmonizing. That's horrible. Actually, if you harmonize... You also have to think if, you get, if your Electro gets hand trapped, what happens? So we're going to add something that we could pet from the extra deck, just in case it does get hit. Um, we're going to get, wis get Wisdom Mind. Because if Electrum resolves, we're going to add that Wisdom Mind back, and we're just going to pop uh, the Abductor. So this is how you play around hand traps. Any hand trap that you activated in this turn, we play it around. 
So we're fine. Even if they hand trapped at that situation, we're still totally cool. Blow us some wisdom eye. We now go into the electro. So you go into our electro. Now you got to think again. You don't even need to activate the effect if you really don't want to. You still have four monsters on board. Oops. You're still going to get four monsters on board if you don't activate it. But if even if they ogre this, who cares? Because it's basically the same result, so you might as well take the risk. You're still gonna end up on the same situation, so we're gonna activate its effect. At this, we're gonna set another harmonize. We're gonna set a harmonizing at this point because now I'm gonna show you guys a little cool play. We're gonna use uh, Electrum to pop this, add Wisdom, and now you have harmonizing to add back with Oath. So you get a free harmonizing. You can even send Jackal. Jackal might even be the better option here. Good, it's a one card negate. That you don't need to require an extra deck space for. You know, we're going to send... The, yeah, you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to send Jackal. We're going to send Jackal. That way, you're going to get yourself a free one-card negate. If Dra Dragon Pit was uh, if Dragon Pit was not there, we could have sent Cerberus and get a free uh, a Cerberus on field as well. But no reason at that point. Pop Abductor, add the Wisdom Mine. Now, we'll, we'll, would one of our live audience like to cut? So, so, we'd like to do the honors. Thank you. Whatever card we draw is irrelevant, it doesn't matter. Cerberus, literally a dead card. Literally dead. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> Wait, it has no heartbeat? No. Yes, Cerberus has no heartbeat. It's dead. You can't respond. <laughs> <laughs> Ray is the, I've never seen anyone in my life that has said more dad jokes in my entire life than Ray. Oh, I, I can tell one to your channel. <laughs> sure, enlighten, enlighten my channel with your dad jokes. I'm sure they'll love it. Hey, Triff Gaming Nation of Peoples, no, did you know? <laughs> Was that a joke? No. no. Did you know a Canadian B can't go into a computer? Why? But a US B can? <laughs> Save your laugh. I have to deal with this every day. Same joke, too. At least twice a day. Okay, low key, I'm laughing on the inside, but I don't want to. I don't want to laugh because you'll start making more dad jokes. But it was funny. I thought it was hilarious. I love those jokes. Anyways, we got the wisdom mind. Pop up, talking get wisdom mind. Now we're gonna use wisdom mind effect to get old dragon, and old dragon is gonna add back that same wisdom mind. Now we're in a very good position. We have five cards in hand. In a, what the hand started as a brick. We drew two horrible cards to start the hand, and the Lord like wasn't even the best. We drew two dead cards to start. We then drew into a third dead card. We have three dead cards in this hand, boys. Three dead cards in this hand. And we're still going to put a four negates. Uh, just to let you know, uh, today I was at the bank. And the old lady asked me to check her balance. So I pushed her over. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got it now. That was a good one. I hate, I love and hate dad jokes. <laughs> anyways, anyways, dad jokes aside, now our pendulum summon. We're gonna pendulum a jackal, a dark worm. Jackal's getting countered by this, by the way. We're next going to summon wisdom. We're gonna summon Stratos and the Shadow Mist. We already used Shadow Mist effect to search for these cards, so you can't physically, we can't search the mass change. But we hard drew the mass change. So there's no yeah. reason to activate the effect of Shadow Mist at the moment. So we already have a mass change in hand. Stratos will trigger. As you see now, we have five monsters on board. And we're going to have three cards in hand. And we hard, we dead drew this. It would have had a fourth card. And it's absolutely insane what this deck could do. We have three dead cards. You already used Shadow Mist. The Stratos. Oh. Yeah. So we already used Shadow Mist. That's why we're not activating to search another. We already, and we only use Shadow Mist again. In fact, this might have been even better to send it to Strudo. Because it would have ended on another Dragster. Now here's where you have a lot of options. Lots and lots of options. You gotta look at what you have going on here. You gotta look at what you could have as an end board. In fact, we might even save the wisdom in hand. We might even save the wisdom in hand. So if you look here, you need two monsters. You need two monsters plus Electrum to make the PK link to get two traps. So these two monsters will make the link. You'll have a jackal, this, and the trap. That makes sense, guys? So what we're going to do here, we're going to save the wisdom mind for a follow-up. We're going to go Stratos and Electro into Underclock.
This is uh, next. We're gonna go underclock dark worm. Okay, yeah, okay, I see it. Okay. Right, so no, you know, yeah. Into the PK link. PK link effect. Okay. We get two fog blades and we banish the PK card. Where you at? What? Banish that. So we get two free fog blades by sending boots to grave. Setting a fog blade and then banishing boots to get the, another fog blade. We now have two fog blades. We got a dark lock and a jackal's gonna have counters. This is game one. If it was game two or three where we know evenly is an issue, remember when we foolish burial to get the level fours? We didn't need those level fours whatsoever. It was just cool for plussing. So we went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We went plus six to start our turn when we drew three completely dead cards. Completely, completely, completely dead, and we end up for three negates and a jack uh, and a dark claw. Like we under I understand, like oh, evenly if it's game two and game three, we would have sent a pseudo. And remember how we, you did not summon the wisdom mine? This would have been a dragster. Like you guys see what I mean? This next absolutely nuts. We literally bricked and still ended on this board. So this is turn number one. This is video one. I'm not gonna show show the same thing again. Where we're gonna end up on four interruptions again, and typically. You end up more than four, to be honest. All hands I've showed so far with the Dark Claw deck, we bricked every single one of those hands. Like, every single one of those hands. We had, like, dead cards all over the place. And you're still putting up four interruptions and dead cards. Like, bricks don't matter. Like, this deck doesn't need five cards to play anymore. It's not old pendulums where you need five cards to play, you can't play hand time, etc., etc. This deck's insane. It's absolutely insane. We're going to power shuffle because all our cards are together. And, like, you guys saw what I mean there. Like, we drew, like, bro, that's absolutely insane what we did. We literally threw, drew three dead cards and still accomplished that. We opened one pendulum, Dragon Pit, and we still ended up on that same board. That's insane. Audience, what do you guys think so far? At that point, you're just hating. At that point, I'm just straight up hating. I'm just straight up hating at that point. Four interruptions and negate through a dead hand. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Like, sometimes I literally stop and think, like, how do I come up with this stuff? I'm literally too smart for my own good. Like, I know why Konami banned me. I'm literally just too good for this game. I'm literally just... Look. Why play Mass Change instead of Mass Change 2? Uh, because I typically end up on the Shadow Mist there anyways. So Shadow Mist searches it, so I don't need a discard card. That's why I play that. Yeah. And if I... If you don't end with a hero on the board. Uh, so I play 8 heroes and 1 Mass Change. If I draw Mass Change, there's 11 discard outlets, so I just discard that. And even... Uh, I never in my life had a situation where I couldn't... Where I hard drew it and didn't discard it. Because if you draw it, let's say by... So let's do some, time for some Triff Math. So we play eight hero cards. We play one mass change. In a 60 card deck, the, uh, the, the chances of drawing one card out of 60 and you don't draw one of the eight is like, you're so, so you're gonna math, what percent is that? What? There's eight, there's one card in the deck. We drew that one card. Now in a 60 card deck in a five card hand, what's the chances of not drawing that one, not drawing? Sorry, not even that. There's eight cards in the, eight heroes in the deck and there's 11 ways to discard a card, so 19. There's 19 cards in the deck that if we drew one of the 19 and opening five in conjunction with the one brick, which is mass change, what's the chances of opening mass change itself without one of the 19? I can't do that. Oh yeah, 1% of a chance. Not even. 1% of a chance. Also the same percent chance of Roland Thomas has of beating me, and as well as Gabriel Vargas, who if you guys haven't already heard, we'll be playing a best of seven against him, and oh, the odds are incredible. You guys can't wait to tell you guys the odds. It's going to be absolutely insane. But long story short, it's, a, it's matches that you guys cannot miss. Anyways, now on to the second video. Dude, how many matches of the video so far, bro? Uh, 14. 14. This is going to be a speed run. Actually... So we cut now. Nah, we're gonna do a speed run for you guys. We're gonna make this super quick. Cut. We're a super speed run. Oh, am I stupid? Yes. Oh. Stupid is smart. What can I say? Judge. So we're gonna shuffle it up. I didn't cut the video right here because it's just it's 15 minutes. It's more than enough. But I, I want to show you guys the consistency and how incredible is that spits out dark line negates at all times. One more cut, please. Would anyone else like to cut? Fantastic. Draw, Chrono. Jackal, of Doctor, <laughs> Black Fang, Harmonizing. Now, needless to say, this hand is, there's no heroes in here, but this hand itself is four negates, five negates. Easily, this hand's absolutely busted. It's actually too good for, too good for its own good. So, there's no heroes. If you, I, it's not worthy to show this hand. I want to show you guys how heroes is, but this hand's five negates. I don't need to show the hand. It's five negates. This hand's five negates easily. 
So we're gonna do another head with heroes in it. But that has five negates. You don't always either end up on a dark lock. That's five negates on its own. I'm not gonna show it to you guys. I've been showing stuff like that. That's five negates easily. In fact, if we drew it to elect, if we drew it to hero with electro, it would end up on a dark lock and replacing one of those negates. So that was double fog blade, dragster, uh, rank four, and a jackal. Like that's. Like, you still should have started the play and be like, oh my god, I drew it to the euro. I think I drew it to the euro would be hilarious. Yeah. Exactly. So we're showing another hand. You want to showcase Dark Light it, but that hand was five negates. So every hand, like the uh, first hand was five. That's the second hand. So first hand was four, four negates with the Dark Claw there, four interruptions, but Dark Claw being one of them, which is huge because it counts like a floodgate. Uh, and it gets rid of a card from the hand on top of being a floodgate. The second hand was five negates, but traditional triff pendulums are just like double fog by the normal way. We want to showcase like the glue with Dark Claw. So next hand. Okay, so this hand by itself is easily five negates again, but there's no heroes. So this hand will actually play out. We're going to allure. If there's no hero, there's no hero. We're going to actually showcase this hand. All right, so there's no hero in it, and that's fine. The beauty of the deck, you don't always need to end on a Dark Claw. Like I said, like, there's not absolutely necessary. The second hand was five negates. This hand is also five negates. I'm actually going to play this one out just so you can actually see what a hand, like, they're both the exact same type of hand. They both had Black by Harm Rising. They both had a Doctor. They both had a way to Jackal. They both had a Turbo card, a Chronograph, which Chronograph was, I'd prefer one of these. It's good to have a Chronograph because Gates will be running around, which is very important for Dragster. Anyways, we're going to lure, send this out. I don't want to have two hands in a row that I don't play, but I'm going to show you, that's going to be three hands in a row, it's going to be five negates in this deck, or four, five interruptions, whatever. Anyways, off the bat, we're going to uh, Dragon Shrine. If they, uh, again, this also plays through Ash again. If they Ash you here, you literally have Electro without normal summoning, you win. And if, we're, like, we're going to be a god and drive into a hero anyways, I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it right now, we're drawing into a hero, just for the sake of it, it will be, it'll tack onto the board uh, even more incredible, to make it even more incredible than it already is. Do I even English? Did you hear that sentence I just said? It literally like, made no sense whatsoever. But I'm a pen god, so I can say whatever I want. The pen god, not a pen god. Next, we're going to Corona Triff English. Oh my god. So funny story, so I'm applying for this new job, right? So for some reason, they requested uh, uh, so many like uh, ad, like ways to confirm that you're Steven Trifonoski, etc., etc. So uh, one of the acceptable requirements is high school report card. So I went to my high school report card and looked at it. It's like, I'm not joking, Tri like math, like 85, 86. English, 60. So trip English will not be a thing, ever. Anyways, Cerberus is gonna get Jackal here. Jackal is very important. If you open one of the Cerberuses, it's incredible. A lot of times you wanna send the Jackal with Electro, because it's one card in the gate. So Jackal and Scale sending out the Cerberus. You guys see what I mean, how this deck's absolutely insane. Like if you don't draw a hero card, you uh, you just end up five negates. If you draw a hero card, you end up four negates and Dark Claw. Like, or, sorry, three interruptions plus a Dark Claw, so four in total. It's, it's absolutely insane. So at this point, we're going to send a Wisdom Eye. If this got Ogre or nothing, it really doesn't matter. You're going to pet five regardless. Like, this plays through any hand. And in fact, this hand plays through uh, Droll incredibly. If they drolled you thinking they're safe, you're still ending on the exact same, like, three interruption board. It's absolutely insane. Soon I'll be showing you guys how to play around hand traps. Uh, a lot of people say you can't play around hand traps. It's just, just that they suck. It's not that you can't play around it. It's incredibly easy to play around hand traps. You just have to be very smart in terms of what cards you use first, etc., etc. So next we're going to... We're going to end on a Vortex with that. We're going to pop the this, add the Wisdom, drawing a card. Would someone like to cut so we could draw a hero, please? And if we, don't, if we draw a hero, good. If not, good. It doesn't matter what we draw here whatsoever, even if it's a mass change. Up Doctor, useless. So someone like extra close thinking is going to be a mass change. But that's all good. We're going to go Wisdom here. We're going to get Oath. You guys are now seeing the true power of this deck. It's absolutely insane. So we're going to... Where's Oath at? Where's Oath? Where's Oath? <coughs> And like the heroes, we play eight heroes, which you don't want to play more. That's all like mighty. Like you don't want to draw all heroes. Oath Dragon adding the Wisdom Eye. Now we're going to Pendulum Summon. We're gonna. Doesn't matter where we put this. Jackal, Dark Worm, Zero, Harmonizer. Is this the correct way? One sec. We're going to pop the Gate Zero. Yeah, it's way better actually. Instead of popping the curtain rays, we're gonna pop the gate zero because you want to summon a level seven on the extra deck zone. It's not super important, but it's just a good practice to have. And then we're going to summon anything from our hand. doesn't matter. You got to think here. So whatever, we're going to summon one. Uh, uh, we're going to go into Dragster with the Harmonizing. We're going to go into Vortex with this. So absolutely, we're just going to need any Dark. So we're going to summon Curtain Razor. Uh, you could have, like, Curtain Razor, it would have been like this, or Dark one would have been the same result. doesn't matter. Now we're going to bring on a level 3 with Harmonizing. Where's Gazer at? 
you don't need to play the second level three uh, for this build because uh, you already played enough magicians for this build. Uh, but it's all different depending on the build that you want to play. So, oh, sorry, what am I saying? Gazer. That's retarded. I was stupid. My, my bad. I take that word back. Uh, we're going to bring out a seven. I forgot. We're going to go into Vortex here. So, we're going to bring out a seven and go into the Dweller over here instead. Right. It's way better. So, we're going to go into the Vortex I was telling you guys about. Okay. Next, we're going to go into Absolute. Absolute and Electrum is going to go into Underclock. Now, Underclock is going to... Uh, what is Vortex? Now, we're... Oh, yeah, we're missing the dark there. Okay, so at this point, we're going to do this. At this point, we're going to Tornado Dragon. Pop Black Fang. Bringing out Harmonizing. Going into... Uh, see that play right there? Never forget, we can do that with Black Fang. Now you go into your free PK. So even though we couldn't end the thing, like we're still like, this is insane. Uh, where's PK? PK effect. Never forget that tornado play. It's a lot of people don't think of that. If we play janky, sometimes pretty cool you could do is you can end on a janky as well. Uh, by not, if you have an extra card, to not be utilizing that. In fact, we did, do we normal summon this turn? I don't think we did. Did we normal summon? No, we didn't. We Cerberus and that. So, like, we didn't even need to do that uh, whatsoever. In fact, we're not, like, whatever. I'll, just in case you normal summon, because that hand was pretty good, uh, we'll do that play, but you're going to save a Black Fang if you wanted to, just showcasing you guys how good the deck actually is. So we're going to be setting the PK card wherever it is. You guys now see the power of this deck. Like, it's absolutely insane. Like, literally every single hand likes, is like this. And I want to show you guys random hands so you guys know what to deal, like, what to happen, what, what to do when you uh, draw not the best hands. And there you go. So you end on, and if you want, you can just put another card down and counter to Jackal. And just like that, you're going to end up with two Monster Negates, Vortex, Spell Trap, Interruption, Jackal. That's insane. Literally auto win. So whether you draw a Dark Law or not, or whether you draw your heroes or not, you're going to win anyways. And like the first, the second, the hand just before this does the exact same thing. And in fact, if, you play, if we play Janky, with actually I might play Janky now after what I just saw. This could have been a Janky. So Tornado Dragon wouldn't pop it, leaving a Janky here. Normal summon, he didn't normal summon yet. So you'll normal summon it. Oh, so you'll have a normal summon at dark. So if you normal summon at dark, then you get two traps. So just like that, you'd have a, a four, six negates. And that was like not even, like it was an average hand. It's a complete average hand, six negates. Jackal, janky, double fog play, vortex, tornado dragon, just like that. So I know it's a long video. I just want to showcase you every single hand's like this. Like, it's honestly insane. Like, it's not a, a gimmicky deck. This deck's absolutely insane. So, hope you guys like the video. Make sure to subscribe at 13,000. Make sure, yo, shut the fuck up. At 13,000, make sure to subscribe to a crazy video. And Game Nation, make sure to check us out on the description below. It's a long video. I'm out of breath, guys. Hope you guys like the video. Next video is going to be a Nappy's Dark Club deck. Please like the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.